Hi everyone, Tony from Hack the Movies here, and there's a new Evil Dead movie out, Evil Dead Rise. Woo! So I think it's time that we talk about or discuss what is the best Evil Dead movie today on Hack the Movies. <laughs> it's time to hack the movies. I almost forgot the name of the show. Wow. It's been oh. a long, it was a long weekend, guys. This long is like, weekend. This is the only thing you do. This is your career. How'd you forget the name of your career? It's literally Look, all your socials. <laughs> Look, at the time. It's his name. At the time. We're Tony Frost. Well, sometimes, well, sometimes it's a talking about tapes episode. And sometimes it's a hack the movies episode. I just don't get it. Just put them all as hack the movies. Jesus Christ. It's too late to do it, okay? I, that's no what one's it gonna know. It's what it should have been. I bet you. No one's gonna know. Not I put, a single person. I, I put them all in one playlist now, so it's fine. Exactly. Um, yes, I'm still recovering from the weekend. It's Tuesday as we're filming this, and I'm still recovering. As you're drinking a beer. Oh, shout out to all the fans I met at the Dick Show WATP live show. Like legit fans. I was shocked. Like legit fans. What no, there, because like I. There? So <laughs> I call. So I call. I call into those shows a lot. So I assume the people there would like know who I am because I am very famous. But I didn't think I'd have like legit fans there. But there were like a ton of hack the movies fans that are like wearing the shirts and stuff. And I was like, oh, I did not expect this. I should have probably bought some merch to sell, like Vito did. Apologies to Vito for fucking up his merch. Anyway, now we're here, and it's time to talk about Evil Dead. The Evil Dead. I have my DVD here, signed by everyone in the cast. I think I might have shown this off a couple times, but I have Love to it. show it off every single time. It took, what, how long did it take to get Bruce Campbell's autograph there? We just got it, what, like... Three, yeah. Three, four years ago? Yeah. So all the girls from Evil Dead and the Scott, I met them at a convention in like 2004 or 2005. Okay. And I got all their autographs. I'm like, now all I need is Bruce Campbell. And then like 15 years went by and it took forever to get Bruce Campbell's autograph. But then we waited. Book signing. Then we waited in that long ass book signing line <laughs> where eventually they were just like, they were like, only get the book signed. Oh, remember they gave us pre-signed books? They're like, you can have a pre-signed book and get one item signed. They're like, you're not allowed to talk to them or take pictures. Get out of here. Because <laughs> I think too many people were doing yeah. that. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, okay, I understand. I've had to control lines, so I can't get angry about that. <sighs> uh, but yes, the Evil Dead franchise. A franchise we all love. Yes, yes, yes. yes. We've talked about in a previous episode how much we love it. But Monica. Yeah. I mean, we also talked about in previous episode, but that was a previous incarnation to hack the movies that doesn't exist on the internet anymore. When did you find Aww. Evil Dead? Um, I forget how old I am sometimes, so like I don't remember when we first watched it. We were in grade school. That's okay. about all I remember. Now, did you did you watch them in order? No. Okay. Are you like a, like I feel like a lot of people saw Army of Darkness first. No, I saw first Evil Dead, then I think I saw Army of Darkness, then okay. I saw Evil Dead too. Okay. I think I was the same thing. Yeah. No. Yeah. I just remember Army of Darkness because that was the big Hollywood one. It played on cable at some point. So my memories uh. of Army of Darkness was that it was always playing during Thanksgiving. Really? really? Yes. Like either sci-fi or like, what was it, UPN or something? Like whatever that was years ago. Sci-fi or UPN? There's two I don't know. UPN. <laughs> it was... It was an old channel. <laughs> no, probably sci-fi. I feel like sci-fi played it a lot. But I just remember it always played on Thanksgiving. That's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a good Thanksgiving. Army of Darkness. <laughs> Army of Darkness is the one I remember the most because, like, growing up, like, the early comic books I had had advertisements. Okay. And, like, when I was, like, reading comics, like, as a young kid, like, my dad would just bring comics home. Like, I remember seeing the Super Mario Brothers movie advertisement. We have an episode on that. And Army of Darkness, not knowing what it is. But yes, I uh, I knew what Army of Darkness was, and then in high school, a friend of mine told me about Evil Dead, and he's like, it's linked to the, you, he told me, he's like, you probably heard of Army of Darkness, I'm like, yeah, he's like, there's two movies before that, I was like, what the hell are you talking about? Uh, and he's like, yeah, the guy does Spider-Man, he made these movies, I'm like, okay, I gotta check those out then, uh, and I fell in love with them, mm -hmm. and then at a, a family party, I was like, hey, Monica, 
I'm really cool and hip and I know cool things. You ever hear about this movie Evil Dead? You're like, yeah, I love them. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> Who would have thought? Way cooler. Someone way cooler than you, Tony. <laughs> it's hard to believe. Yeah, I know. I know. It's, so it's hard to believe. So <laughs> uh, but yes. Um, but then I still watch them with you. So yeah, like... we did watch them a lot. We did watch them a lot. Yeah. Uh, you, I'm still jealous you've seen the play. I still have not oh, seen the. Oh, it's so good! You ha- how have you it's not gone? It's so good. Something I wrong? have it on, a, I think, a DVD or something. I mean, like that. someone sent me the video of the play, but I'm but it like tours a bunch. It does. I know, it and does. stuff always comes up. Kind of like every time Bruce Campbell was in town for ten or twelve years, something always came up <laughs> until that one day. All right, you know what? After this, we're gonna look up where it's touring. <laughs> oh, I'm down. And figure out the closest place. And okay. And tickets in the Splash Zone. Yes. You gotta get tickets in the Splash Zone. It's so much fucking fun. <laughs> the music's great. Yeah. I hear it's, it's great. Fantastic. I hear it's great. I'm so very, good. I'm very excited to see it. It's Honestly, cool. I think I've seen it twice touring. I brag about it. Why don't you? Okay. <laughs> um. I'm with the, 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 the produ- um, she was the production manager for the national tour. I'm friends. What? Good friends with her. See. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm yeah, still doing the tour, but like, yeah, you guys are like so cool. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. See? It's really cool. Yeah. Sorry, we didn't think we could be t- cool. We're trying to show off because we are trying to be as cool as you. Yeah. Get a little yeah. closer to your mic. I just realized how far away it is. Yeah, well, you are you set up the mic so poorly over here. I'm sorry. <laughs> you just did. lean in a little bit more to it. <laughs> Get off. <laughs> okay, I'm okay, so. okay. <laughs> So yeah, let's let's uh, let's go through the films here. I'm gonna read the back of this DVD I'm box. Break the mic. Okay. I, I happen to have the first three on various formats here. So let's see. Let's see. The Evil Dead, not Evil Dead. The Evil Dead. Well, don't fidget with it too <laughs> goddamn much. I can't fix it. Oh god. Unless I legit move it. Hold, please. In the summer of 1979, a group of Detroit friends with $375,000 raised from... Lo- oh, it's talking about the actual behind the scenes, not the plot <laughs> of the movie. Christ. I was about to say, I'm like... To I'm sitting there, I'm like... I'm like, that just... Oh, what the hell did you do? Stop breaking things! So I can't have anything nice. Just, just... I gotta move that... For, There's Johanna so knock, shit over here. Jo- Johanna knocks down the dragon sound constantly. I gotta move it. Okay, okay, okay. Headed for a cabin outside of Morristown. Uh, t- what the hell is that? You have trash back here. <laughs> what? There's so much trash and junk. This. <laughs> I'm not done, guys. I'm not done cleaning. Okay. Literally, there's like bottles. Hey, trash. That there's is empty water oh, bottles. Damn, no, it's because I shot like three episodes this week, and oh, I guess everyone Jesus. drank water and left it there. <laughs> there's like all these water bottles and tissues. And stuff. Your like, other guests suck. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, Monica. We got some negative comments on Jason X. You might want to be careful with that comment. Anyway. Uh... <laughs> Why am I here? Why am I here? I'm pretty sure he invited you, right? Like, what's Are they, they about me? I don't know what you're talking about. No, don't worry about it. Uh... <laughs> Just hit him. Just hit him. Crystal still has the most negative comments. Uh, haters, absolutely. Yes, I do. Yes, okay. I do. I got like a wall. By the way, I got like a wall of them yesterday. I'm like, Jesus, this guy's on a tear. Um, Wait for me? Yeah, a lot of them get withheld. YouTube is smart enough to know if one person is commenting about the same thing on multiple things. They're like, All right, we're withholding this. This guy's on Damn, a wall. I haven't been anything in a long time. I read something last month. Relax. Okay. <laughs> it's I haven't made it through the first t- two sentences. <laughs> To make a film about five college students possessed by an ancient book of the dead. The filmmaker's goals was to create the ultimate experience in grueling terror. A movie so relentless that it would stand forever as a landmark in modern horror history. When it was released in 1982. Wow, it took a couple years for it to come out. It was immediately recognized worldwide as one of the most ferociously original films ever made. And this is just plugging uh, the DVD. Okay. That didn't really tell you a lot about the movie. No, okay, no. it told you about the making of the movie. This DVD was a big deal, I guess. Classic story, kids go in the woods, horror shenanigans happen, but it's like, it's very creative. Evil Dead is very creative. Like, this was coming out during, like, the slasher genre. Mm-hmm, yeah. So you'd, like, expect, like, a like a slasher or something. Instead, it's, like, it's weird. It's Because they're not quite zombies. They're possessed by these ancient spirits, and... 
They go warp ra- reality around them. And it's very, very ambitious. And they clearly did not have the budget to pull off all their ideas. No. And yet it made a lasting impact. And it's probably one of the best independent horror films ever made. Yeah, uh, easily. What, what are your thoughts on the first Evil Dead? I think it's absolutely amazing. It's absolutely my favorite. I would mm. hands down say that. Mm. They had barely any budget at all. They were making things on the fly. People got hurt constantly on set. Yes. Constantly. I'm pretty sure they were broken bones. Uh, Bruce Campbell does a lot of... Um, what he does is he'll partner with a few theaters and they'll show it virtually. I know they did this a lot during COVID. Mm. And he'll do a live commentary. Yes. And... He does this all the time, so I'm pretty sure he says the same thing over and over. But still listening to that is fascinating. It's all the the real blood that goes into <laughs> it. I was like, damn, they worked really hard. The, They're pretty proud of it. I will say the Evil Dead, the trilogy, is something you need a physical copy of because the commentaries are sometimes more. I think I've listened to the Evil Dead 2 commentary probably more times than I've seen the movie <laughs> legitimately because it's so entertaining. You learn so much from really? them. I haven't listened to it yet. And like I said, no. Evil Dead 1 is like filmed over the course of a couple years and there's like there's like shots later on of like Scotty walking and it's actually Ted Raimi when he was really young in a different house two years later because they just never got that shot. It's like insane. There's so much the low budget stuff that went into it and it's fun seeing young Bruce Campbell, unibrow and all. Yeah, I uh, I don't know. I think maybe the first time I saw it, I was a little thrown off because it is, it is kind of cheesy. Like I don't know what oh, I was yeah. expecting. What did you? What, how did you feel the first time you saw it? I still was scared of the first one. There are some still some really yeah. scary moments. I think when they get on their their, their their full deadite form toward the end, you're like, okay, this is getting a little goofy. They're vomiting milk. Yeah, but I mean, I was <laughs> yeah. younger when I saw it, so like it still creeped me out. Um, yeah. I still think it has its scary moments. Like you said, now I'm like, okay, yeah, it's goofy, but I appreciate everything that they put into it because it's not, they yeah. loved it. It's not meant to be goofy, obviously. It's kind of unintentionally goofy, which kind of directs the series from that point on. Yeah. Um, but you're but, right. Uh, people dig it hurt. Uh, this um, <clears throat> DVD came with the Ladies of Evil Dead Woke. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I got to do one per episode. They're going to take their signatures back now. <laughs> Uh, oh, I wonder if they use the real names or their stage names because they were all SAG and they weren't technically supposed to be in this movie. Oh, really? Didn't uh, know that. So their names on like the credits are like not their SAG names. That's so they went uh, against SAG. Uh, they talked about like the contacts they used, the old glass contacts. They're like mm-hmm. those things like ripped our eyes up. They yep. really hurt. Um, I'm always curious too because like throughout the movies, I just I I like to watch the blood and mm. see like as the scene goes on it being cleared around their eyes yeah i don't know if you guys have ever had fake blood in your eyes yes no. it hurts like a motherfucker i know there's tons of different mm-hmm. fake bloods out there and a lot of them are non-toxic but once you get it, so i was wearing i just got lasik which yay <laughs> but um when i was wearing contacts for a couple of days Oh, oh, what did you guys hear something no no i guess not i guess Hmm. it's just our you guys are real jumpy might be from that new scary movie we saw (laughs) but i am a man i'm not scared and i did not jump continue kind of (laughs) keep going (laughs) man child um the contacts i would wear and the blood would go under the contacts and i knew it was so bad because i took out the contacts i remember this one specific night i took off the contacts and the contact was pink it was dyed pink. And I was like, this shit, damn it. <laughs> like, it hurts. And it's always interesting to see blood and then it wiped a little bit as yeah. it goes. I'm like, it's because that shit, yeah. you know. That's funny, though, how you're relating to the movie because I filmed a horror movie in college. You did? Your, your niece was in it. She was a little ghost girl in it. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, which is actually about a uh, single woman in a high-rise apartment being stalked by evil demons. I'm going to have to write a letter to Warner (laughs) Brothers after this. Holy shit. Anyway, uh, um, the one girl in the movie, the older ghost, uh, we put blood on her. We did not realize that she had some kind of reaction to the fake blood. You didn't do a test patch? I guess. No, no, you know what's weird? No, no. I think we shot. No, I think we shot with the fake blood and it was fine. And then like another day we shot with the same blood. And for some reason that time her eyes like bubbled up and like swelled. (gasps) For an entire week. I remember seeing her. She'd like text me. She's like, oh my God, 
my face is screwed up. And then like I went to like the tech center at Temple and I looked at her and I went, oh, oh <laughs> and she was so pissed because she's like, my boyfriend's visiting from out of town this week. <laughs> and her eyes were all swollen. I'm like, I'm like, you only have one more day of shooting left for this movie <laughs> you're acting for for free. <laughs> Did it, uh, did it work for the scenes? <laughs> yeah, it looked fine. The oh, scenes, great, yeah, it looked great. fine. The movie's not that good. because <laughs> We had a really cool location. I could have written it better. Ooh. It was shot okay. Ooh. Anyway. But, yeah, um, indie, indie films, it's you do what you can and you kind of suffer with it. You're not <laughs> doing it for the money. But you can learn a lot from this movie. Like I learned a lot of techniques. Like I didn't really understand reverse photography oh, I, yes. until this. I had seen reverse photography in other films like Aliens, but those had bigger budgets, so they were less noticeable. Now, the vines covering up the girl was a little bit more noticeable in Evil Dead. I'm like, I could do that. Um, yeah, the, it still holds up. It's a really fun, spooky movie. Again, it is very dated. The acting is not the best. No. no but Even by our boy Bruce, as much as we love him. Although he really sold having a piece of plywood on his shoulder and that being... That, that's what stops him from getting up during that battle at the end. It's like, oh no, this small piece of plywood, it's got me down. Yeah. I'm like, good job, good job. Um, I learned about how the movie can teach you how to, like uh, things can be left over from previous versions of a script, like the ugliest necklace in the world, the famous Evil Dead necklace, the, the yeah. magnifying glass. Yeah. If, if uh, Dan had proposed to you with a magnifying glass on a necklace, would you have said yes? Probably not. <laughs> I mean, unless there was some sentimental value to it. Imagine like, you're in a universe where Evil Dead doesn't exist. Factor that in. You're like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. I <laughs> it's so funny because the magnifying glass was going to be used to burn the book at the end. He was oh, going to he was going to put it in the sunlight to burn the book and that was going to cause it. And then they were like, we have no money for like a laser effect. And they're like, well, what do we do? Like, he'll use the necklace to grab it and throw it. It's like, well, now we're stuck with this shitty necklace with a magnifying glass that no woman will ever love. And the girl in the movie's <laughs> like, oh, it's amazing. I'd like one. You'd like one because of this movie. This movie didn't no. exist. It's <laughs> <laughs> I just like presents. You Honestly, like presents? I like presents. Well, Monica didn't seem thrilled with the present I got her. What'd you give her? A picture of her, William Shatner, and my ex-girlfriend? You can have this picture. Okay. I like presents. Okay. I'll take it. I'm going to hang I'll it in a frame and put my I'll money there. I'll only show half of it. Okay. But there's Monica, William Shatner, and on the other side is my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> I found this in a box recently, and I was like, I bet Monica wants this. <laughs> you can legit cut her out. Yeah. <laughs> Keep saying that, but... Like, can, I put my just... face? can I put yes! my face? Yes! <laughs> if you want to. So, Evil Dead's fun. What's your, what's your favorite scene in e The Evil Dead? In The Evil Dead? Like spookiest scene. I mean, the tree scene is just so freaking iconic. Um, yes. But I do love the scene when it's um, what's her face when she's in the basement and Linda when they're both laughing at. Yeah, yeah. When she's like singing and stuff. At Ash. Yeah. 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 That is it's great. That's like ingrained in my memory. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna get you. We're gonna get you. The one, the one that actually scares me, also in the basement, but not that scene, is like, uh, it's like Linda's P or no, uh, who's the sister? Uh, the creepiest scene I think is when um, Cheryl, it's her point of view, looking out out of the the basement after they have her trapped, mm -hmm. and the one girl's like, "What happened to her eyes?" Uh, and I like when it goes back into the basement. It's just like Cheryl, just like laughing, and it's <laughs> I, that made me that really makes me uncomfortable. Uh, but yeah, it's like, Cheryl scenes. Yeah, she was just creepy as fuck. She kind of is the main taker. Like even when it's she like Linda is. being evil at the end, I'm like, not as good as it's, Cheryl. It's Cheryl. <laughs> Cheryl. The other two don't down. get like they're okay, but it's just like that. With what? Just them being like possessed. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Cheryl, like, Cheryl really. She probably is like probably the best scariest deadite. I or or is she? I don't know. Oh yeah. We'll find out as we go through. I want to know what everyone's favorite deadite is. Um. But yeah, uh, the movie's really, really solid. Uh, it has a fun like lore behind it with the Book of the Dead, bound in human flesh, inked in human blood. Uh, the ending is exciting, except the stop motion is very dated. I love the it. Stop motion is very, very dated. Like it doesn't even look like blood at the end. It literally looks like play doh at the end. Yeah. Well, I mean, then you go into the second one. <laughs> yes, yes. And <laughs> it's then a whole other level. And it's then after uh, oh, one thing I appreciated yeah. about it 
that leads into the second one. It's not just, and I think that's something the new ones are kind of missing. It's not just like evil spirit made me a zombie. Like the world is like being manipulated around them. Like time yeah. is freezing. Uh, like they talk about how like the forest, like the trails are just disappearing. The trees are moving. Yeah. Things are just bleeding. Mirrors are turning into water. I love how surreal and trippy it is. And I don't think you got that in a lot of other horror films at the time. Until like until the Nightmare on Elm Street started. Yeah, I can get then that, those yeah. got real trippy. Uh, that's something that I think really made this stand aside from all the other ones and the over the top gore. They really went over the top with the gore. Uh, but yes, Evil Dead One, really really good. Monica. Yeah. Would you like to read the box for Evil Dead Two? Yeah, sure. Is that because you messed up the first one? Yeah. Yes. <sighs> <laughs> Ash, the sole survivor of the evil dead, returns to the same cabin in the woods and again unleashes the forces of the dead. With his girlfriend possessed by demons and his body parts running amok, Ash is forced to single-handedly battle the legions of the damned as the most lethal and groovy, groovy. hero in horror movie history. So welcome to Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn, director Sam Raimi's infamous sequel to The Evil Dead, an outrageous prequel to Army of Darkness. Uh, oh, that must have been a re release. State tape. of the art stuff, you know. Oh, okay, okay. We I don't can think skip you that. need the rest. <laughs> <laughs> I could have had you read the original tape up there, but we're good. Um, Evil Dead 2. So, <laughs> I, like I said, my friend was lending me these movies. And I'm like, okay, well, Evil Dead 1 was a lot of fun. Wasn't he in your phone as, like, Evil Dead guy? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah that's pretty cool. Yeah. I used to have, <laughs> like, I used to put weird names for people. Well, actually. I'm sure you still do. You, Dan and my brother-in-law were both in my phones as either Dan, Monica's boyfriend, Don, Nicole's husband, or Don, Nicole's <laughs> boyfriend. And then both on the nights of both the weddings, I changed it to Dan, Monica's husband. <laughs> oh, my God. Don. Nicole, not, not just Don. Don, Nicole's husband. I had to make sure. Just oh, you know why? Because I had Dan and Don, and I kept accidentally texting one instead of the other. So oh. like, I had to make it very clear. Monica's boyfriend, Nicole's boyfriend. Um, yeah, so I put Evil Dead 2 on. Mm -hmm. And I was like, holy shit, this is the best thing I've ever seen. This is amazing. This is, oh my god. Yeah. I wasn't ready. I, I don't know why I wasn't ready for it because of how crazy Army of Darkness is. But that kind of tones down level. the gore and stuff. I just... Because it feels like it's it's basically a remake. And it there is, was, yeah. And well, I mean, well, <laughs> the continuity for the movies is all over the place. The show made it not a remake with a really funny line of dialogue. We're not going to linger on the show too much. Because Bruce Campbell always thought that Ash was like, oh, there's no way it'll happen again and went back. Yeah. Uh, but no, it was actually a remake because for whatever reason, they couldn't get footage from the first movie. Because it was owned by a different company. Yeah. So they're like, let's just remake the first movie the way we kind of want it to with a bigger budget, but with less actors. <laughs> so yeah, the first half is just a, an insane remake. It's almost like a one man, if Linda wasn't in it, but it's almost like a one man show with Ash. Yeah. Bruce Campbell is giving it his all oh, yeah. acting wise. Um, <sighs> it, this is a fucking trip. It Talk is. Talk about trippy. Yes. And they kind of, I guess a lot of people must have seen the first Evil Dead. And they kind of thought it was like, they probably were like laughing, but enjoying it. And they're like, all right, let's really play up the humor oh and the Three Stooges influence, which I don't know why you would put that in a horror movie, it's but for so some bad. reason it, it works. works. It yeah. works. Uh, yes. Uh, so what was your takeaway the first time you saw this? Uh, amazing. I love every aspect of it. This is the best thing I've ever seen. Did you expect it to be as different than the first one? I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> I don't. I just watched it and I was like, this is amazing. I think I was kind of confused at first. I was like, wait, this is the same. And then it was like completely different. I was like, but yet I still loved it. Yes. Mm -hmm. so like, yeah. I was like, if anybody else, like you said, if anybody else did this, I'd probably be like, I don't want to watch this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like, why am I wasting my time? How can uh, you get sucked into it then? You can't just yeah. stop. Again, like, if, what? Because of how surreal it is. Like, once that, like, book is read and whatnot, you're in a different dimension. Yeah. Uh, and, like, you're just totally sucked in that world. And I like that you're just with Ash for so long. They sprinkle in the other characters. But I feel like it's a while before they interact with they him. They do. And the whole thing, like, it's a man fighting with his hand. For like 30 minutes. It shouldn't work, but it really, really works. It yeah, really but, like, works. There's a scene where it's like Pee Wee Herman-esque. 
Yeah. And th- which is my favorite scene in the entire movie with the um with everything with laughing. The deer, everything laugh. Like as soon as you see the deer Oh god talking, damn it. What? I meant to put the deer head I have on the wow. wall for this episode. Way to go. I'm not going it's upstairs right. to it's get it. Right. I'm not going up. I put my shadow box there. Anyway. Um, yes, it's it's such a great scene because it just takes you almost kind of out of it, but it works. You're just like, this yeah. is just the, re- I feel like that was like the height of the yeah. ridiculousness. And the deadites get even crazier. Oh, yeah. Linda in this one, <laughs> her, her zombie oh, ballerina uh, thing and her rolling head. That was fucking hilarious. Uh, I love Henrietta. That's that's probably one of my favorite uh, deadites because it's Ted because Ra- you know it's Ted Raimi in the she, suit. Yes, it's yes. like very obviously Ted Raimi in the suit. If you know Ted Raimi, is it makes it even funnier. Um, yeah, it's, it's just a good time. Uh, Ash, like y- you learn to really love Ash because he's kind of a wimp in the first one. He just kind of survives. Yeah, he yeah. has the Sigourney Weaver arc, which yeah. I actually think they beat before Aliens because in Alien One. Like, Ripley is, like, smart and everything, but, yeah. like, she's not, like, a badass. It wasn't until Aliens where she's in the suit. This is how I feel with Evil Dead. Like, Evil Dead 1, it's like, well, I, I, I was slightly more lucky than everyone. And this one, he's like, I attached a chainsaw to my hand, and now I'm going to fucking kill the devil. Um, he's definitely a final boy. He Easily. is. He is. Easily. Yeah, there's just so much to love in this Ugh. film. Uh, especially these two films. And, um, actually, yeah, Quentin Tarantino. Uh, yeah, what about him? He, he was on a podcast with Eli Roth, a very famous, like popular Eli. podcast. Yes. Uh, and he was actually quoted saying, like, once he saw both these movies. Mm-hmm. If you're a movie mad young guy in your early 20s and you see Raising Arizona and you see Evil Dead 2 and you see that, that shooting style, it's like, well, what's the point of ever shooting any movie not like that? I know. All right. That seemed like, OK, a new shooting style has been developed and Everything else looks old-fashioned by comparison. Yeah, that's how much of an impact it had on Quentin Tarantino. Tell me more. It was Quentin Tarantino on that podcast with Eli Roth. A fan, a person in the comments told me to look for that podcast. But yes, Quentin Tarantino said that. Got it, Quentin Tarantino. So yes, they really up the humor. They up the gore. There's even a segment on the DVD called uh, The Gore the Merrier where they just go <laughs> into it. Uh, there was a lot cut out of this movie. And oh, some of the deleted scenes have never made it onto any medium. Really? Actually, the one DVD says that the infamous uh, squirrel eating scene, only behind the scenes footage of it exists. And it was gone forever. But it actually survived. And where in, did it survive? It survived in the Mexican TV cut. They actually attempted a TV version of Evil Dead 2. And even Bruce Campbell was like, that was a horrible idea. I don't even know why we tried. It only <laughs> apparently ever aired in Mexico. And if you want to know more about the TV cut, where do you think they could go, Crystal? I I saw that you did a review for it. I did. You can check out my review of the Mexican TV cut version of Evil Dead 2. I talk about a bunch of the weird changes and it has the missing squirrel scene. It's kind of a letdown. I'm not going to lie. It was kind of a letdown. I mean, I really feel like you're hyping it up. Yeah. 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 However, oh. this movie was hyping up the sequel. And, like, I like that. Again, it, the first half, it feels like we're just doing Evil Dead again with better effects. Yes. And then the second half, it's like, okay, now the girl's dad is, like, a wizard ghost. A and wizard. Yes! And then we found the pages from the Book of the Dead, and it says that there was this ancient knight who screwed up, and it's clearly yeah. Bruce Campbell. And I love that he said, they made him, like, a really lovable idiot, where he's like, I can't believe that he's guy's... He's a himbo. Huh? He's, he's, like, Bruce Campbell. Oh, I mean, Ash is a himbo. He is a himbo. He is a himbo. Right. <laughs> he is. He's probably, like, one of the original himbos. Yeah. He is... He, it, it's such a lovable <laughs> character, because, again, he is going insane, and then he eats these yeah. other people. <laughs> yeah. Like, the, pe- the other survivors hate him, uh, they treat him like shit. And yet he's yes. the only one who can pull off everything. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so they're setting up all this deep lore about the medieval times and stuff. You're like, what does this have to do with anything? And then yeah. the movie ends. It's like, oh, now he's back in time in medieval times. Like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? Yeah. <laughs> and then we get to... The Army of Darkness, which they wanted to call Medieval Dead, but I think the studio said no to that. That would have been better. Crystal, would you like to read this? You're so good at reading, and you know how how to pronounce words. 
I shall speak with standard American dialect. <laughs> Bound in human flesh, inked in blood, and amazingly hard to pronounce, the ancient Necronomicon, Book of the Dead, unleashes unspeakable evil upon mankind in director Sam Rainey's... Rainey. Rainey. What did I say? You said Rainey. But keep going. <laughs> Parenthesis, Spider-Man. Outrageously hilarious sword and sorcery epic. Back to do battle with his hideous deadites, Bruce Campbell reprises his role from the Evil Dead series as Ash, the handsome, shotgun-toting, chainsaw-armed department store clerk from S-Mart, Shop Smart, Houseware Division. Demonic forces, uh, demonic forces time warp him. <laughs> wow, that's actually what it says. Demonic forces time, forces time warp him. Demonic forces time warp him. Yeah. Time warp is a verb. I understand this, okay. but it's just, it just did not <laughs> compute. Is and the his... formatting on that HD DVD not right? <laughs> and his 73 Oldsmobile into <laughs> England's Dark Ages, where he romances a beauty, mm -hmm. Embeth, what is it? Embeth Davids? Annabeth Davis? This is Embeth. Oh. Embeth Davids? That's a stupid name. Keep going. And <laughs> faces <laughs> legions of undead beast, including a ghastly army of skeletons. Can Ash save the living from the dead, rescue his girlfriend, and get back on his own time? Why, why did I you know. do that with like a sultry, <laughs> sexy voice? What was going on there? I don't know. It's like, this it's is supposed to be an right. action-packed, scary thing. You're like, ooh, and then they sever <laughs> their head. Like, what right. the fuck was that? <laughs> I would love to actually do yeah. Like how Casey does her uh, <laughs> princess one. Oh my God. <laughs> God, that people enjoy that audio. Oh, God, <laughs> so people yeah. were like, I've never heard her curse. I'm like, I never heard her curse before. Yeah. Army of Darkness is awesome. Oh yeah. Yeah. And it kind of again, as someone who didn't know it was a sequel to two things, it kind of worked. It, actually, all three of them kind of work on their own. Mm -hmm. Well, especially two. The only problem <laughs> with two working on its own is that it says two and you're like, what happened in one? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry, you'll need to know about it. But it is funny when you look at like how the series went it's like we're in the cabin there's a scary book and there's monsters and the second one they're like there's even crazier monsters and a bigger one and it's like oh now we're in medieval times and there is a ray harry how uh, ray what? harry housing <laughs> style skeleton army and there's even more three stooges jokes yeah uh and he's riding a horse and and now he's fighting little ashes yeah. <laughs> and they really again it kind of feels like um Beyond Thunderdome. Like, this was the big studio one where they did Mad Max and Road Warrior. And they're like, okay, Hollywood's involved now. We're putting Tina Turner in your movie and we're giving it a bigger budget. Uh-oh, the director's depressed. That's a whole different story. <laughs> but then the same thing with Evil Dead. It's like, you made two little indie films and now Hollywood's here. You're making a big... You, you know those two little horror films you made? Mm -hmm. Give us a big action epic with a big battle. It's like, that's asking a lot, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But this is after he did Darkman also, so I think he was trying to make a name for himself there, uh, which I actually reviewed Darkman, Sam Raimi's Darkman. Okay, When's cool. the last time you watched Darkman? I don't think I've ever watched Darkman. Oh, really? Yeah. No. Oh. You should give it a shot. When we reviewed it, we realized, <laughs> like, oh, there's a lot of stuff that ends up in Spider-Man. You could tell he was just, like, testing out superhero <laughs> stuff in Darkman, and you moved it into Spider-Man. Okay. Army of Darkness, they fully embraced the comedy. They do. There's still some scary moments in it. When they put him when they put him in the pit in the beginning, that was kind of creepy. When he's fighting the witch lady. It wasn't I didn't I just didn't find any of it creepy. Not so much the witch lady, but when he's climbing out and the big monster comes out, that that one always used to make me jump. Mm. It didn't didn't do it for you? Didn't nothing no. scared you in this? No. What about Evil Ash? <laughs> yeah, I, I figured you would. Um, Can we just uh, talk about the beginning too? Yeah, yeah. About how it's all of a sudden now it's another girlfriend, and yes, then they play, retell. Do you know who played her? No. Bridget Fonda. Oh, really? Yes, Bridget Fonda played her because it was a cameo. I mean, yeah. she had no voice. Uh, she had no dialogue or anything. No. Which I feel bad for Bridget Fonda right now. Have you seen the pictures of her circulating? No. Well, she hasn't been an actress like a celebrity since 2002. Yeah. Okay. So she just looks like a regular 60-year-old woman who's not in entertainment. And everyone's like, look at these shocking pictures of Bridget Fonda, blah, blah. It's like, 
yeah, when you're not an actress in entertainment, like, I, I kind of know a lot of women who look exactly like that. Like, can we just, I know her husband's still entertainment. He's ripped. But can we leave Bridget Fonda alone, please? She's just mind her own business. Always remember, you're not ugly. You're just poor. <laughs> it's true. What oh, the fuck? Is. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> it's true. But that was Bridget Fonda. So, okay. in the TV show, when they went to... Uh, well, the TV show, we're not going to talk about the TV show too much. You just said we weren't. I know. But, but like, it, it has to do with the continuity of the movies here. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, like, the first season, they weren't allowed to mention Army of Darkness, because, nope, again. They weren't allowed. Yep. But but then the second one, they had a little leeway, and I like when he just goes, oh, yeah, we can go back in time. Like, that time I went to medieval times. But the third one, because it's always been the big question, does he keep going back to the cabin? Is it a different thing? And then in the third season, he's in the hallways of his old school. He's like, I met my first Linda over there. I'm like, oh, my <laughs> yes! God. It is a new Linda every <laughs> single time. <laughs> I love that scene. I love that they make fun of themselves so much in that show. I yeah. swear, the show yeah. tops. I will actually say this, and I, I'm sure a lot of people will disagree. I think the show tops all the movies. <laughs> I'm sorry. I we, we loved should, the show. We should come back and so do like much. a show retrospective at some I point. I would love that. Um, but it's yeah, so, so good. Ash and so again, first one wimpy guy. Yeah. Second one, he's like kind of the badass. He's going through a lot, mm -hmm. but he's trying to keep it together. This one, he's just an That's asshole. Bruce. He is Bruce an ass. He is like a cocky asshole. He looks way better than he ever has. He's got the nice, like, uh, slick hair. Yeah, the swoop. Mm -hmm. Huh? He's got the yeah, he's got the nice it. swoop. I mean, he's got a, he's a, he has a high position at S Mart. Yes, he does. And in high school, I used to have a Shop Smart Shop S Mart shirt. And nobody knew what it was, right? Nobody knew. Yeah. That's hilarious. And actually, girl, <laughs> like, girls I was dating. Their parents would be like, "Do well, you work there?" Guns. Mm -hmm. Because I, now I'm channel, I'm channel, I'm channeling the army of darkness, Ash energy. So I'm becoming real douchey. Okay. Um, they'd be like, "S Mart, is that a uh, store that you work at?" And I went, "No, I don't have a job." Mm. I learned that I probably shouldn't say that to the parents of girls I was dating. But anyway, uh, <laughs> is S Mart an actual place too? I was told that S Mart's a real. I'm it's sure there place. is a place called S Mart. No, I heard but, like it's actually a chain. By the way, this poster I have here, I got from my good cousin Monica. Yeah. This is a great poster for <laughs> Army of Darkness because it's Bruce Campbell's in it, so they have to make sure it's a Campbell soup that says Bruce on top of it. <laughs> I love it. Did you really look at this when you bought it for me? It's actually really funny. It's really good. They have the one bald knight just yes. hidden in the back. I and didn't it, like fully look at it. And honestly. it just says it just says Moon. And he's saying, give me some sugar, baby. Yep. Uh, way more ripped than he actually kind of is. But apparently, because oh, I had this. Oh, they have an S-Mart shopping bag. Thanks. Uh, when I, I had this. I remember in... there being a dolphin, though, in the movies. You sure? Yeah, it's a dolphin going through a <laughs> coat hanger. What is that? Yeah, that's totally <laughs> the movie. Uh, so someone told me when I had this in the uh, the Evil Dead 2 video. I just realized I now have to censor my ex-girlfriend there. Um... <laughs> Someone uh, actually knew what this said. And they're like, that says Supermarket Man. And I'm like, I kind of <gasps> wish the movie was called Supermarket Man. <laughs> or no, 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 no. No, Captain Supermarket. I think that's what they said it translates right. to. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's great. <laughs> How'd you feel oh. about Army of Darkness when you jumped to it? I loved Army of Darkness. Yeah. Um, Were you confused yet again? I mean, I think I was a little bit, but, you know, I went along for the ride. <laughs> yeah. I will say the beginning is a little confusing because you it ends with him all of a sudden standing up and killing a deadite. And everyone loves him. And it's like, yay. And then all of a sudden this begins. And you're like, how is he? Why is he in chains? Like, he's supposed <laughs> to be the hero. What the fuck just happened? It's like every time they make a new movie, they're like, how the last one ended? Doesn't... They're like, eh, we changed our mind. It's like, oh. You should probably decide what, you, what you're ending to be before you make the scene, but okay. Um, yeah, it's just a it's just a nonstop action pack. Evil Dead Two and Army of Darkness, yeah. they are probably the most rewatchable movies ever made because there's just always something happening. There's never a slow moment. Whereas Evil Dead, they're trying to be like a legit horror film, so yeah. there are slow moments. But you also don't yeah. have to pay attention. Because you can look away, because yeah. I had Army of Darkness playing uh, today, because I was like, all right, let me just, I watched all the other ones actually recently, not this one in a while, and I was like, oh, let me just throw it back on. And I was like, yeah, you really don't have to pay attention, so you just look away, and then you look right back, you're like, oh, I know exactly where they are. And it's like yeah. 15 minutes went by, and I was like, oh, yeah. he's uh, still fighting a skeleton. Cool. <laughs> 
I like that they up the evil Ash because there was an evil Ash in the previous one, but now it's like a yes, whole separate character because mm -hmm. he 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 eats. He, there's a bunch of tiny ashes. <laughs> yeah. I don't know whatever happens to those other tiny ashes, but he eats the one, and then it grows apart from him. He kills it, and then it comes back as its own thing. And suddenly, it's the leader of the Deadites. I I don't know how Deadites work. They're a little they're a little all over the place. It's, the it's very confusing to understand their logic. Yes, yes. Just don't question it. Really. They just want to take over the world. Um, they want that book of the dead. Uh, they want to eat the souls. All three yes. of them. I love the fact that there are, there's three of them. Yeah. Okay. That was. Which does help me actually make sense for the other two movies. I did read the director's statement about that. I have some issues with oh, it, but yeah, the director. That's intentional. The three Re books. Yeah. Oh, it, um, felt, it felt intentional. Oh yeah, it is. Cool. Um, and my my intentions were right <laughs> for once in my life. <laughs> I do love the running gag of uh, he's got to say the three magic words. Yeah. With the books, and it's Klaatu, Verada, Nektu. Where does that come from? Seriously? You guys don't know that reference? Maybe? It's from the original Day the Earth Stood Still. Those are the words yeah. that the alien does to turn off his killer robot. Uh, no. Klaatu, Verada, Nektu. But I do Holy like God. I do like Bruce Campbell trying to do the words and see, thinking he can oh, like con God. the evil forces. Like, yeah, yeah, I did it. I definitely said it. I might have I might have adopted some character traits from Bruce Campbell in this. Um, I, mean, I, I said them all like kind of, but not not fully. Yeah, not but, every syllable. Yeah, I kind of did it. Like you know, like getting Vito's merch. You know, I kind of got Vito's merch to the show. It wasn't the ones he mailed to me. They weren't nice and printed, but there was merch at that show and it did sell. So that was that was my Ash influence. I, I made the best of a bad Don't situation. Don't let Tony ever do anything. Tony should never be in charge of anything. Vito as an Italian should know that you should not trust other Italians. It's a really bad idea. What the fuck? Uh, huh? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not the most trustworthy people, Monica. Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Italian men. Maybe I'll limit it to Italian men. Okay, okay, that works. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Except my father. Okay, Aww. okay. He's the exception. <laughs> my dad is a sweetheart and loyal. My dad exists. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, and I love that they basically, they're like, okay, okay, guys. We now have an even bigger budget. Let's recreate all the movies we loved growing up. Remember Jason and the Argonauts? We're also going to have a skeleton army. Uh, and I love that they have like puppets in the front and then men in cheap suits in the back, which funny enough, because they are friends with like Peter Jackson, he kind of used that for Lord of the Rings. He had the good makeup effect orcs in the front and he had like the cheaper ones in the back. It's like, mm -hmm. You couldn't have made uh, Lord of the Rings without Army Darkness. That's what yeah. I'm saying. That's what we'll I'm saying. That. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, yes. I'm glad we all agree with that statement yeah. that I just mm -hmm. pulled out of my ass there. I'm yeah, pretty sure I that's. Real. I think it's true. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, you, which so. No. which ending of Army of Darkness do you prefer? By the way, there's like a million cuts to this. There's like a million DVDs of this. Remember, they had the bootleg DVD, and it looked like it came in a paper bag. That was weird. No, I've never seen that. Oh yeah, yeah. It has the alternate. You know what the original ending is, right? Where he over Honestly, I don't remember. Okay. So he takes the potion. Yeah. And again, it's actually a funny callback. The 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 wizard, uh, played by Mr. Pitt from Seinfeld. Um, Ian Amercrombie. Uh he was also Alfred in a okay, Birds okay, of Play okay, TV okay. show. Um, he was all no. <laughs> he tells him he's like he's like take the potion and say the three words. So it turns out he oversleeps, and when he wakes up, he's got a big beard, and there's like a post apocalypse that happened. Mm. <laughs> I slept too long. <laughs> uh, apparently, they test screen that, and people didn't like it. So then they came up with the whole, which actually it's pretty funny because that's where we get the hail to the king line is in the theatrical cut yes. where somehow the demons come back and he just blows them away. I love that. He just makes out with some chick who just happens to be there. That's what he does. Another fun game you can play with all three movies yeah. is count how many Ted Raimi's there are. Because <laughs> he's either someone's body double or he's multiple knights. Like in Army of Darkness alone, I think he plays like five different Take people. A shot every time he shows up on screen. Yeah, yeah. Because he's like he's like a knight and then he's like a regular guy in the town and then he's the guy that Bruce Campbell's talking to at the end. It's like he's just all over those movies. Uh, yeah, and then Evil Dead went away for many, many years. 
Yeah. Yes. Uh, they were almost going to do Freddy versus Jason versus Ash. Yep. Didn't happen. I understand why, because like Bruce Campbell and Sam Raimi, they're like, we don't have full control of those two other characters, so we don't want to do it. I'm like, that's eh, understandable. Uh, and then they did the Evil Dead remake, which we have a full episode on. Mm -hmm. uh, Monica, what did you think of the Evil Dead remake? I enjoyed the Evil Dead remake. Yes. Every time I watch I'm it- like, oh, that was like the, the way you just said that, I was like, yes, you answered that correctly. Yes. <laughs> I know, I was actually worried for a second. I was yeah, like, I wait. That. I was, I like, was like, what? what? You, you traitor, yes. traitor. I was just waiting for that. I was like, how's I told, I, I shouldn't have trusted Italians. I knew that. <laughs> uh, yeah, every time I watch it, I enjoy it more and more, which I think I said in the original video, because I think we, we saw it together. Yeah. And I remember thinking it was like, okay, but it really does feel like, okay, we we kind of want to do Evil Dead 1 again, but we want to make it like a legit horror film, mm -hmm. which I was fine with. It was a little too modern with like starting all the scary stuff like in the first scene instead of building up to it. Stuff like that kind of bugged me. I really didn't like Jane Levy. I still, she kind of grows on me, but her evil performance, I just don't like Jane Levy that much in that movie. She's fine now. I've seen her in other things now. She's in the video game. They finally put her in the video game. Oh. Um, yeah, I like the idea of her, like, trying to kick her heroin habit. Yeah. I just, I don't know. I think it could have been written like a little her. bit better. But I definitely love, I just remember being very, like, freaked out by some of the scenes in that movie. Yes. And the blood, like, they really went over the top with the blood. Yeah, they had a lot of fun. Um, so I did love that return back to the horror roots of Evil Dead. Yeah. I did hate, mo like I said in the episode, most of the beginning, it kind of, like, pushed me to the side. I was like starting to be like, I went in not wanting to watch it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, this is gonna be stupid. Like I hate, cause I just hate remakes. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, halfway through, and that is before a little halfway through, I'm like, what? What? And all of a sudden, by the end, when it is rain and blood, I was like, this <laughs> is the best movie ever. It was yeah. so much fun. It was so much fun. I would have liked, ass. I would have liked some more trippy stuff. Like, like uh, it, the raining blood was cool, yeah. but like again, I miss stuff like the mirrors turning but, into water and like. Th then you're yeah. gonna, but then at that point, you're throwing too much that doesn't fit that movie. I guess fit, so. Well, I guess all of a sudden so. now you're, it feels it's gonna be forced into like your evil deadness. Uh, I don't know. I, feel I think like it could have worked. Stick with one. Thing. I was shocked they kept the POV camera thing. I thought for sure. You have to. Yeah, that, I feel that's, like that's very. I, I I agree, but I thought maybe they like wouldn't have enough restraint. And they're like, let's actually show the monster no. this time. Yeah, <laughs> they yeah. should never do that. Yeah, no. yeah. Well, we've seen we've seen other movies where they show things yeah. a little too much because they have the effects and they could do it. And it's like, well, kind of ruins it. Yeah, I I enjoy it. I think it's very well directed. It's very well shot. Uh, some of the scares are really good. I think it's mostly just the story doesn't fully do it for me. And I could never fully buy into the main actress's performance. But other than that, I really enjoyed it. I love the girl cutting her arm off. That was cool. Mm -hmm. I like how they kind of intentionally dress that guy to look like Ash. Mm -hmm. And he just fucking dies. Yep. That was pretty fun. <laughs> he made it into the video game, too. I don't know oh, why. Really? I don't know why. I like the friend. Jessica Lucas played the friend in it. Uh, she's really cool. She was in Cloverfield. She was in Gotham for a few seasons. Uh, the one that cuts her arm off, right? No, oh. the other one. The Sorry, one? the blonde girl is the one that cuts her arm off. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So she's the one that cuts her tongue. Right? Yeah, the one that like cuts up her face yeah, and like okay. she like pees herself. Uh, yeah, and the book was pretty cool too. I actually liked how they did the book. I like that. I actually. I like, I like that he tried to burn it and it didn't work. So you're like, okay, this movie's gonna end differently than the original one did. Yes. Uh, that's actually one thing I will say for the Evil Dead TV cut. Uh, Evil Dead Two. In Evil Dead Two, what what happens to the book in Evil Dead Two? I don't remember. It never. It never tells you. They actually <laughs> did do a scene early on where Ash throws it in the fire. <laughs> uh, and that's why it doesn't, because he burns the book. It doesn't work like in the first one. But when I watch the TV cut, I'm like, I've never asked where the book went in that movie. And I, it, I'm, it's just now dawning on me. I'm like, that book just completely disappears. No one ever talks about For it. Some again. Reason, they have I the pages, have... but not the book. Yeah. Um. Anyway. So yeah, Evil Dead 2013. Uh, I feel like that introduced a lot of people to Evil Dead. Uh, it did really well, which I'm actually shocked they didn't do a sequel earlier, like a legit sequel to it or a legit follow up. Instead, they went back to do the TV show, which mm -hmm. was for like the hardcore fans. I'm like, wow, that seems 
that's what we wanted, but it seems weird that that's the direction Just it let went. let it be. Don't question it. <laughs> Don't pre- question the good stuff. So, yeah, then we got three wonderful seasons of the show. A new video game. I wish there game. was more, but... Yeah, I wish no, there was more, same. too. But then again... They stopped it when it was good. Who knows what they could have done? True. My my whole thing is Leave every the party when it's good. they did at the daughter. Leave the and party then when it's good. Yep. Every Evil Dead ends with a cliffhanger. So the fact that the series finale was a cliffhanger is kind of fitting. It's kind of fitting, and it plays into the Army of Darkness original yeah. ending. Um, and it gives him if this is all in continuity, it gives Ash an excuse to not be in our newest film, which we're now going to talk about. Evil oh, Dead <laughs> Rise. I wanted to give everyone a refresher and stuff. What will be, will be. We just saw this tonight. Yes, we did. Uh, it's directed by some guy I don't know. And I meant to watch the one movie people recommended to me. And I even got Showtime on Amazon because it has all the A24 films. I'm like, I'm going to watch that movie before it comes out. I didn't watch it. What movie what? is it? Yeah. I don't even remember. <laughs> I think his name is Lee something. It's I remember seeing Lee. Yeah. Lee Corn Corny? Is he Corny? Lee Cor- Lee Croned? I feel like that's not right. Lee Corned? I like Lee Corny. Lee Corny, okay. <laughs> yeah, directed by Lee Corny. Lee Cronin. I was right. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. I was like, that's what I was like. <laughs> Well, she's looking up facts. Okay. Uh, that was another good thing about okay. 2013 and this. Bruce Campbell is still like heavily involved in it, even though he's not acting in it. Uh, he does act in the. He does. In the rise. He does. He's well. He's in Rise, and he's at the very end of the Evil Dead remake. Yes, he is. Uh, but no, he's very like. He had an influence over the story. He made sure it was you know going the right way because we've seen other horror franchises be handed off to other people and they kind of fall apart. Yeah. So it's nice to have that original guy. I know the. The new horror, the new Halloween movies had John Carpenter, but he, no. he's like, I just want to do the music with my son. Do whatever you want. I don't care. Yeah. Um, but Bruce Campbell and Sam Raimi like, we actually kind of care. We're producing this. Let's make sure it's good. Um, so yeah, they announced Evil Dead Rise uh, a few years back. I, at the time, I didn't know what it was going to be. I'm like, is it a sequel to the remake? I doubt it. It would have to, it would tie into the film at all or the TV show. Uh, but it would have been cool to see like Kelly and all them be in it. Uh, those are two different vibes. I know, I know, I know. Which the director yeah. talked about in that interview. Uh, so yeah, then they said, "Hey, we're gonna do Evil Dead in an apartment complex," and I went, "Oh, good," because even by season two of the show, I was getting a little tired of the cabin. I don't know how you guys felt. I love the cabin. I love the cabin too, but two movies and two seasons, and it's oh, in the you. beginning of Army of Dar- Darkness. It's like, okay, we've seen the cabin. I have like two video games now with the cat. Three video games that feature the cabin. I've seen the cabin. We're good with the cabin. Have you seen the cabin? I have seen the cabin. <laughs> what about Cabin in the Woods? I've seen Cabin in the Woods also. Uh, I've actually been in, not the cabin, but I've been in actual cabins. Oh, I've been in a cabin. Yeah. Yeah. Cabins are great. Yeah. I like cabins. Talking about cabins. Uh, yeah, Gabin cabin. about cabins. That's our new show. <laughs> cabin cabins. You know, Abe Lincoln was in a cabin. <laughs> no, he was in a log house. Log cabin, right? Is it the same thing? I think so. Oh. <laughs> Sign up to our Patreon, our the Gavin about cabins Patreon. <laughs> Where we learn the difference between log cabins and log cabins. We're raising money to go on our cabins across America tour. <laughs> Like Where we can finally system. we can finally podcast from inside cabins. It's made a I big would one. Love that. <laughs> wow, wow, Monica! Look, this one also has a fireplace. <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at that deer head. <laughs> yeah, that's a moose head. Yeah. That's another deer head. Crystal, did you notice there's deer outside? <laughs> that reminds me of all the other ones we went to. Anyway, back to I would Evil love Dead. that. So Evil Dead Rise, they said it was going to be in a high rise apartment. It's kind of how I felt about the new Scream too. I'm like, oh, they're going to New York. That's I fun. I haven't seen the new one yet. I still haven't seen it, and I, I know it just came out on streaming, so. I know, but I'm I'm pretty sure you know it was in New York. What? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you just ruined the whole movie for me. How did, you, did you miss all the posters? <laughs> <laughs> Where it's like, scream, I love New York. Yeah. <laughs> I literally had a poster as you were coming down the stairs. I have to look where I'm going. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, yeah, I thought a new location will be refreshing. Yeah. Uh, I was kind of interested to see how it would get there. This almost went to HBO Max. And I think the director was like real upset about that and pushing against that. And it actually turned out to be a really smart choice because this movie is doing very, very well right now. Yeah. Unfortunately, Renfield is not, but that was also a very good movie. Yeah, I wanted to give a shout out to Renfield. (sighs) Uh, 
that movie has Evil Dead 2 style. Imagine a kung fu scene with Evil Dead 2 style gore. That's Redfield. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> Yeah, Evil Dead Rise. So I was like, okay, uh, I'll give it a shot. And then I saw the trailer. Um, and I'm like, wow, this trailer looks really good. And then I saw the eye scene. I was like, worst movie ever. I'm not going to see it. <laughs> He did uh, make a sound during I the movie. Did. Yeah, he's like, right. no. At least I was like, <laughs> no. you know what? I was a little prepared for that one because of the trailer. The guy getting his eye bit, I was not prepared for that. And then the spinning eyeball, which is a callback to two. Yes. I wasn't prepared for that one either. I'm like, damn it. I thought I was going to be no. on my best eye defense. And they <laughs> blindsided me with two of them. Um, oh, wait, wait. Oh, man. But you saw the movie without me first, right? At South by Southwest? No, actually, I did not. Okay. I have I have a confession. Did you see the South by Southwest uh, incident? They screened the movie and they had a Q and A, and someone screamed, "This movie fucking sucks!" <gasps> and he was booed out of the stage. Yeah. And Bruce Campbell made fun of him. Guys, that was me. I'm I'm sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm not sorry. shocked by that part. Yeah, yeah, you're an asshole. I'm really sorry. I'm I really thought sorry. we were seeing it together. And I, well, 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 no, no. That. Here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Tonight was the first time I watched this. So I got invited to South by Southwest because I'm very important and famous. Okay. They said, bring you and your entire crew. And I went, good, just me. And I went out there. Sounds right, actually. Yeah, wait a <laughs> that actually sounds right. They said, are there other people on your show? And I'm like, no, nope, it's a one-man show. Uh, that actually sounds correct. Yeah. So I went to South by Southwest. And they're like, oh, you could go to the Evil Dead Rise screen. And I'm like, oh, but my cousin Monica, <laughs> my favorite cousin, because she's in the room with me right now. So I'm oh, saying that. My favorite cousin. <laughs> and I feel comfortable I saying know. that on camera. I feel comfortable <laughs> saying you're my favorite cousin on camera because none of my other cousins watch the show. Yeah. Uh, so they can't argue with me about it. Uh, <laughs> so I went I went to the premiere and I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to watch the movie. I'm not going to watch the movie. I'm going to watch a different movie on my phone. Okay. So I put on a different movie on my phone. Okay. And I was like, you know what? Let me uh, just pull up any movie. Um Wishmaster 3. I was like, you know, I've reviewed the first two Wishmasters. Maybe I'll review Wishmaster 3 one day. So I was watching Wishmaster 3 on my phone while Evil Dead Rise was playing. Okay. And I had headphones in. Mm. And he, Crystal, it's so embarrassing. Mm -hmm. During the Q&A, uh, they were like, hey, everyone, here's Bruce Campbell and stuff. The movie ended on my phone. And I was so angry at how bad it was. So it's at the same time? At the So I screamed. This movie fucking sucks. It's looking at my phone. And then everyone started booing me, and I didn't have time to to explain myself. I'm like, no, I'm not talking about Evil Dead Rise. I actually didn't watch it. And that only made the matter. And I'm like, but it's because I wanted to watch it with my cousin. They said, get out. Get out, you guy. And you made a really awkward exit, too. I saw that, like, yeah. where you tried to get out, and then it was just, uh, like, a fake out, and you had to go the other way. It was a little awkward. And they said, they said we're never giving you a, an invitation here again, Adam Does Movies. Because that's who I lied about being. Uh, they said Adam does movies is never allowed at South by Southwest, and I was like, "Good, I Adam does movies never want to be here again." Uh, so yes, yeah, so, uh, so I did see it for the first Sorry time. Sorry to tonight. Adam, who I don't know who he is. <laughs> He's a friend of mine that I collaborate with often. Got it. Sorry. <laughs> who has another movie channel? <laughs> is that longer? Um than your, uh, about your evil stepsister uh, or your, uh... No, we're not talking about the evil stepsister again. <laughs> I'm not that was, sure which story people is are still, that I, or this one. I can't wait till October rolls around so that episode ends up in the algorithm and I get more complaints. Oh, so yes, God. Evil Dead Rise. Mm -hmm. Crystal, what was this movie about? Um... Are you still looking up facts about the director? <laughs> oh, no, I'm looking up facts about the movie, actually. Okay, okay. Did you find out what the director did? Oh, The Hole in the Ground. That's oh. the one they told me to watch and I had it... Okay. I didn't watch it. <laughs> I mean, is it supposed to be good? Yeah, it's supposed to, it was good enough they gave him an Evil Dead movie. I don't know. <laughs> People don't do good He really movies. didn't, he really didn't have a whole lot to his name, though. So like, Yeah, he really was good. like, it's, neither did Fetty Alder, uh, Fetty Alder, Al, Alvarez. Alvarez. That guy. Uh, I've been doing that a lot lately. I've been butchering names and just going, that guy. Mm. Um, yeah, he didn't really do a lot. He's since gone on to do some really good movies. He did uh, uh, Don't Breathe, which I thought was really good. And now he's going to do an alien movie. But anyway, tell us what the movie's about while Monica also researches more <laughs> facts about said movie. Oh, there's a lot of facts, though. So. Oh, I bet. Okay. Uh, movie is about there's a single mom and she uh, has these three, two, nope, two. Three kids. Three kids. Yep, yep. Because every, every evil dead has 
basically five characters. That is, that is true. And that's a couple thing. throwaway ones. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Except for Army of Darkness, that's the outlier. But yes, that is. Um, she has three kids, and her sister comes to visit, and uh, well, her sister is coming because she's uh, knocked up. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Uh, and then um, the, uh, the an earthquake happens, and they find the book. Yeah, the earthquake that was, was interesting. A, it was earthquake, felt a little. I'm like, forced. was the earthquake yeah, kind of like forced. related to the evil forces? Because that was like an intense earthquake. That was really intense. And there just happens to be a bank vault. They mentioned the that earlier, they though. They did mention it. They did mention it. Because this Stephanie is fantastic. <laughs> I am obsessed with the little girl. I was no, no, that's not her time. name. No, but she has no, the her, doll. Her, okay, it's her, her name like, Staff. Staff. Okay, you gotta because like because you said Stephanie and you said little girl, people might be confused. Sorry. But the little girl makes a uh, doll head and a staff called Stephanie. Yeah. It's fantastic. Um, yeah, they find the book in the, the vault, and mm. you see all these crosses and coins and everything Very around Very weird-ass vault. I yes. Love that vault. <laughs> so yeah, you don't, if you ever see a vault like that, don't don't take anything. Don't. If I went into a vault that was surrounded by, like, crucifixes. Don't. And, like, just a bunch of warnings, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to head out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to head yeah. out. Especially right after an earthquake, too. Like, why do you want to go deeper in the ground? Yeah, that they're, was a bad... They're, well, they're also not very smart. They also took the elevator off. Yeah, the kids were kind of idiots. I'm not going to lie. Well, they they look pretty stupid. Um, yeah. The kid's like a wannabe DJ. Takes the vinyls. Oh, God, vinyls yeah. and the books. But there's no. so many callbacks. And yeah, and then possession happens. Yes. Yes, he unleashes the demons. And then the, the, the small apartment building... Gets overrun by deadites, mostly just the mom. It's just the the uh, that one floor though. It's that was well, the one no, thing but, about the movie is like just the one floor. <laughs> but I think it's because it was. Well, no, no, no. Them. It wasn't just the well. It, there wasn't a lot of people in the building. She mentioned it's being demolished in a yes. month, so the building was pretty much abandoned anyway. Yeah. Uh, that's actually not how the movie starts though. Well, it starts with um, at the cabin. That's We're the that's the another cabin. fun thing. I did like that it started with a cabin. I'm like, oh my like, god, we're doing this. <laughs> so more there. Are I Easter almost eggs. I almost wish that wasn't in the trailer because that would have been a funny way to start with the cabin. Oh, um, that title. Well, they're shot. the lake in the trailer though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that title shot. That was, was cool. So cool. So basically, it the movie starts with like the ending of a different Evil Dead adventure yes. that we didn't see. <laughs> Well, she's also, you know, she's reading the book. The uh, the sister or the, um, the cousin is laying in the bed, and she's reading. That's a callback from the first movie. The tar like the, the, the cards, yeah, because yep. she's she's reading the book. She knows all the words, all the words. of the book, kind of yep. like the girl knew all the cards. That yep. was pretty clever. Eight of spades, jack of clubs. <laughs> yep, there's a lot of throw up again. She rips she her scalp off, up. and then the girl just walks outside. I'd be like, ah! She is screaming, but she also could be in like full shock. Yeah. Why would you run toward the water? Run toward civilization and be like, help, put my head back on. Out there. Yeah, that guy sucked. I know Obviously. he sucks, but if he's your only other like option, yeah. that's who you're going to. Yeah. Yeah. But that is a fun opening with like all the people being killed in the cabin and then the rise. And then it goes one day earlier. Yeah. Which um, right. Yeah. Which was pretty cool. You're like, what the fuck? You're like, how does it how end does up happen? there? Which yeah. was a fun because I actually was, was really asking cool. myself toward the end. I'm like, how does this connect? To yeah, what we I just forgot. Saw? I forgot yeah. until all of a sudden she walks out and I was like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, that's <laughs> that girl. That's yeah. right. That so basically, happened. basically, the mom gets possessed. They're dealing with her, and like one by one, the family's getting possessed, and also people in the building get attacked. Did you notice the pizza box? I did. I, I did. actually, I was like, Henry had a pizza. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Uh, was cool. yeah, it has it. Well. Scream Whoa. 5 had some pretty <laughs> subtle references to the old Screams. Sure. S Scream 6, the newest one, it, they're very blatant with the yeah. references, but it's meant to be. Uh, this one had some subtle ones. Like, Henry, the Henrietta Pizza means nothing if you haven't seen the other one, That's but correct. it's not distracting. No, you don't notice it until, unless you're, like, looking at it and you know, like, you're a fan. And you're like, oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. And there were a couple things like that. that um, eyeball, and I like, love the, they, the beginning is really good at like setting up stuff. Like they show like, uh, I guess it's the son of the machine that killed Michael Myers in the new movie. It's also a metal grinding thing that just is. happened to be there. Uh, and you're like, okay, kind of like Halloween ends. We're like, well, that's going to be used later, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's a fun premise. The deadites in a building. It's pretty cool. It was interesting. Yes. There's a lot of the singing still. There's mm. still, there's a lot, of, especially when, what is it, in the 
second one when Henrietta is singing, and there's a lot of callback to yeah. Henrietta. Yes, well, because that's the whole the mother mom. thing part oh, of yeah. it. Yeah, there's a lot of callback. To um, that. I will say, uh, having like a family this time was pretty interesting because, like, like, we've constantly seen kids going to the cabin, kids well, going the to the last cabin. One. The Evil Dead 2013, their brother and sister. So no, but I mean, like, yeah. it's always, like, young kids. Well, even the first one, their brother and sister. Mm-hmm. But, like, young kids going to a cabin other than three, which is medieval warriors. But anyway, uh, what proper Evil Dead. It was fun to see just, like, a family, yeah. single mom and whatnot with her really liberal daughter, which I'm sure people are complaining about on the internet when I... She's like, I have to go to the protest. I'm like... There's probably ten guys, but it also there. makes sense. And I'm one of them. I got. I went, I went woke. Monica was like, "Tony, stop screaming woke at the screen." Oh We're gonna God. get kicked out. And then I texted Bruce Campbell, I'm like that movie did bug. Us. <laughs> I was right. I was going because they're in LA and the climate change mm. and like the the fires and stuff like that. I was like, it's just kind of setting up the location. That's why. I was yeah, I feel like they could have done more. With I it. thought she was gonna be protesting that their apartment building was gonna get shut down. No, like, I don't think that's anyone what I thought it was going to be. Oh. I don't think. <laughs> so about the apartment building, uh, as a Resident Evil fan, I kind of appreciate it that they're like, this creepy old weird apartment building actually used to be a bank. Uh, because in e- Resident Evil 2, the weird police station, it's like, it used to be a museum. And then we turned it into a police station because. They're funsies. Because, you know, do that a lot, though. military spending, you know. Um, yeah, they're like, yeah, we turned it into a police station. So like, I kind of like that reference that there's like hidden stuff in the building. Uh, the one pay, there's one setup where they talk about a ghost that'll get your change. Yeah. And I was like, oh, when the well, deadites yeah, come, yeah. that'll probably come to be. And it didn't. I'm happy it didn't. Because nah, I forgot cool. about it. That and I was cool. just like. That would have been cool. No, now you're, it just now set you're pushing up it a little Steph- too much. Stephanie. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Okay. It did set up Stephanie. Have, yeah. yeah. So now all of a sudden, because yeah. when she comes in and she breaks the staff. And yeah. And it's like, good thing she like, was prepared with Stephanie. Yeah. I didn't like the two older kids that much. Uh, Danny and Bridget. Yeah, the youngest girl was really good. She yeah. was really good. Danny seemed off. She he he felt like he was adopted. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> I I did I, I do like the relationship with the sisters. How they're not like, like they don't like hate each other or anything. They're just they're not the really. Sisters. I like that yeah. she's just like I can't believe your husband left you. Why didn't you call me? And she's like I did twice. And you didn't you didn't answer. It's like oof. Oh no, she feels pretty bad about that. Yeah. Because she's there to ask for help about, like, this pregnancy thing. She's like, oh, now I look like an asshole because I was not there for my sister at all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was, I I will say yeah. they managed to find two actresses that legit look like sisters. They do. Yeah. I was sitting there like, they actually look very similar. I could see yeah. it. Um, so how do you feel about the uh, the deadites in this one? They feel more similar to 2013 than they do the other ones. Yeah. I will say the family deadite did creep me out. The one where they're like, they start melding into their mother. Yeah. Wasn't that a name? They had a name for it. I don't know what it is, but yeah, they turn into like a spider kind of, it's like the thing almost. That thing was cool. It it looked like it was mostly practical, which I kind of like, because if it was CG, it would have been jumping on the walls and it would have looked a little bit more ridiculous. Yeah. But that was pretty good. I like that deadite. Um, Like you said, the rest were just normal yeah which i this in the other remake i'm just like all right well they're just kind of gray with yellow contacts i kind of want like how they look in like like the show and stuff where they have like the pronounced cheekbones Uh, yeah yeah. the skeleton like the big giant teeth but then you're over exaggerating it a little bit too much yeah but the show is a little bit more jokey this one's a little bit in between but i mean if this is supposed to be like evil dead 2 and then why not have a little bit more fun with it this is a little bit more fun than evil dead 2013 i will go with that It, it felt more realistic in the beginning and then as soon as we hit them um the sister and the little girl leaving the apartment mm-hmm. the door and going into the elevator that started feeling a little bit more jokey as they were going along it just oh. felt it just like middle to the end was jokey and then also it looked like the shots were turning more evil dead ass or maybe yeah. i just started realizing well that could also be a reference to the first one where it's like film normal except for like the last 30 minutes where That's like the camera's all like. warped yeah um do you have Oh no! Hold on. <laughs> there's, there's like pages worth of it. Hold on. <laughs> okay, while you're doing that, I'll explain the three books. Is it each? Wait, let me guess. Yeah. This so because this is what what my gut says is okay. it's a book was left in the 2013. There's a book for this one, and there's a book for the Ash. Yes. Because they're all they all seem different kind of deadites. 
Yes. And they all uh, different they like, asked, words and They stuff. asked the director, does the TV show factor in? It's like, well, we didn't really factor it too much a little bit. But he's like, I wanted to focus on the films. And it's like, okay, there's three books in Army of, Dar yeah. in Army of Darkness. And it's like the one book ends up being Ash's book. The other one is the remake. Yes. And then this one is this, even though they look completely different. And also, I'm pretty sure the point of that scene was that there were two decoy books. I don't think it was meant to be that thought. Like, I don't think you were supposed to think into it that much. But anyway, I did like the book in this, how it had teeth. Yeah. That was a fun and little it, update. It cut them, and that's how it started opening. Yeah. I thought that kind of stuff was really cool. Yeah, it was cool. And I love the fact that they're also playing the vinyl. I like those vinyls, not the tapes. Yeah. But I think, if I remember this correctly, Ash plays tape two, and that's the one that um, actually has the words, and vinyl two actually has the words. Oh, that's funny. I didn't pick that up on that. That was interesting. And also when the sister has the headphones in mm -hmm. and she's listening to them saying, oh, the body needs to be, I only know this because I literally went back and rewatched yeah. all of them too, where it like hit me more, where she had the headphones on and they're saying about the uh, only way to dis uh, disembody them, like yeah. to stop them is disembody them. Disembowel, yeah, yeah. Dis uh, and dismember, dismember them, dismember them. them. <laughs> Thank you, dis something. Disembody, dis 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 disembody dis is a word, We're I'll give you that. You, you didn't make up a new word, you used a real word wrong. Good job. Yay! <laughs> we have um, to we have to give Crystal credit <laughs> when she uses words right. <laughs> uh, but Ash, I'm pretty sure is listening to the headset when the same moment. Probably well, he's yeah. Listening to it. Well, but it's a different one, recording, but they're saying similar but things. They say very similar thing, except this time it says even when you do that, they're still going to keep going. The other yeah. one didn't have the finishing of no, it. So no. like every time you listen to it, it almost sounds like there's more and more. Yeah. Which is really cool. Did you find your fact? Oh, it just says, this is the second film in the Evil Dead series to be shot in 2.39 one, and the first in the series to be filmed in Panavision. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, it's a good looking movie. I loved uh, the stuff with the people. <gasps> the like, a lot of that movie is done great. through that people. And it's, it, again, it, so this takes a couple things done in the original and kind of updates them. So like, instead of the trees, it's the wires. Yes, in the elevator. Which I thought yep. was cool. Although, I mean, it was previously topped by the uh, the dead body attacking Bruce Campbell in the show and covering him in poop. This was a little easier to watch than that one. Uh, but yeah, the peephole kind of reminds me of the 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 basement. Her, her peeking out of the basement and said it's her okay. peeking through the hole. That was cool. I like her little scene where she just kills everyone in the hallway. I love it. Um, yeah, and that, that main girl. So, I think... She... So, when you say main girl, do you mean Beth? Is that the mom? Uh, no, the the mom is Ellie. Ellie. Oh, Ellie. Ellie. So Ellie, when I was watching, I was like, man, that girl looks really creepy. She's scaring me more than most deadites have. And I'm like, what is it about this deadite? That's really, really creeping me out. Mm -hmm. And then Casey texted me and said, that girl looks like Crystal. And I went, that's it. That's where it is. That's where it is. She did kind of look. I, I was, as soon so as Casey your said. Halloween costume ready to go. I was going to yeah. say, I'm, I'm like, Crystal, that actually is a really, that'd be, you just have to make your hair more red and I add fake that. tattoos. Oh, I, can, I could put real tattoos. Because I'm looking at her, I'm like, yeah, she is kind of tall. She has like similar face. Like yeah. that actually does look like Crystal. And then I was yeah. like, this movie's scary. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrifying. I was like, Monica, let me know when it's over. Ah! And then Crystal texted me. I was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um yeah no she's dead by dawn and dead i feel like she's dawn. getting a lot yeah she's getting a lot of attention from this she she, she put is. on a really good performance she's also um pretty big in what viking is it right i didn't I've seen watch a it. tiny bit of viking i'm oh. pretty sure she's in that i didn't watch it but yeah she's like people are loving her in this she's, she's in all the advertisements she does a really good job she's in it so overall i really enjoyed the film I think I like the story and the characters more than 2013. Yes. I think 2013 was technically better executed, though. I think it looked better and was shot better. And I don't, I don't know. know. There was something about this movie that I felt off, like, visually. You know what it is? We saw it in a modern movie theater, and, like, movie theaters leave too many lights on. Oh. Yeah. So I feel like it was, I don't know. I, I, I feel I don't know. I feel like it should. The theater should be darker when you're watching a horror movie. That. Yeah. I was at a dining movie theater. Oh, I'm and never going I to those again. Yeah, I'm not a big, big fan of those because the lights are always on next to me, so I had to put my jacket. And then you it. get your food so late into the movie. Oh no! Uh, well, this one that we went to, it you have to order it before, and then they literally by the time I know he ordered a um, the guy I went with, he ordered a soda. Oh, and by brag, the time he got brag there, much. Guy I went with. It was a date. 
It was a second date with Hey, someone. hey, I almost had a date recently. What happened? It got canceled. Aww. So it hasn't messaged me to reschedule, but keep going. Yeah, okay, well. I'm okay. okay. I'm, I'm okay. you're okay. I'm okay. Okay, are you sure? I don't usually drink during episodes, so I'm okay. You sure? You should far okay. away. I would pat you. <laughs> <laughs> continue, continue, continue. Yeah, no, oh no, uh, whenever I go to those things like uh, movie tavern, you've been to the movie tavern? Yeah. You like order the food early and then it's just like you're watching a movie. It's like, here's the secret revelation you've been <laughs> waiting for. It's like, sir, you're not chosen. I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay. Like, did you want this? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's me. I actually wanted something up, but, it, but it's fine. I gotta, I'm, I'm trying to, okay, okay. And it's like, oh my God, I hate all of you. I think Jess worked at a movie tavern, so I don't hate her. But everyone else who's worked tavern? at a movie tavern, I mean, unless you it's subscribe, not their fault. a movie tavern. Huh? A movie tavern. Yeah, but they yeah. they give you food and stuff. That's what they call. I yeah, they're just, called movie taverns. I've never heard it called a movie tavern. Like well, the vitamin. movie tavern is a chain. Oh. But yeah, yeah. I've never been to one. Yeah, yeah. they have like, like the, AMC dining. They have the things where you can pull out like the little yeah. like TV tray almost in front of you. Yeah. So you eat. That's what the AMC dining. So Evil Dead Rise. Yes. Uh, I do think this one tried to work in some more cartoony stuff from the later oh, movies, absolutely. but keep it still grounded in that horror feel. I did like, I think my favorite moment was like her crawling in through the ceiling and mm -hmm. crawling on the wall. Kind of remind me of Exorcist 3 when the old lady's crawling mm -hmm. on the wall. Uh, I really like that. It's, it's a very enjoyable film. Uh, the effects are top notch. I thought absolutely. the effects were great. So much blood, so much goo <laughs> and... Oh my god, the elevator blood, that alone, yeah. how much blood did they use? Thank you, Shining. Oh, oh, oh. But yeah. That 6,500 liters or oh. 1,720 gallons of fake blood were used. Was we, that more or we less? We use gallons. This is America, okay? <laughs> I'm just reading it, okay? <laughs> I, I wonder if that's more or less than 2013. Because they still made it almost rain blood. Yeah, what well, 2013 gets, a, like, it kind of cheats because it's raining blood, but... <laughs> Like, I want to know which one has the most blood. And no. it might be this one. This it did feel like it. Yeah. I loved it, though. It's not yeah. cool that you And I thought, so, oh, yeah. I thought, w without spoiling too much, I thought it was going to get, like, kind of, like, remember 2013, Jane Levy's possessed. Mm -hmm. But the brother's like, I'm going to save you, sis. And he does, and he sacrifices himself, but she gets to live. Yeah. I thought they were going to do something where, like, I can overturn the spell to save mom and my sister and bro. No. No, this movie's like, now they're deadites. Fuck them. They're dead now. <laughs> well, they're sometimes they turn back when it's the next day. Mm, yeah. I mean, they were pretty fucked up, though. So, the like, what were they going to come back That's pretty funny. Well, he also <laughs> at one point, like their mom is now. It's funny. The sister <laughs> should have the been, the the sister should have been like, let's wait until daytime. Although... Again, it, de it depends on the deadite because we've yes. seen deadites in the daytime. The yeah. one when Ash would turn normal during the day, but again, they're, they're all from hell. They all have they different didn't, uh, powers. What's her face? The the what's that? Well, that lady didn't she turn normal too? Well, she no, that was after yet. the spell was lifted. Oh, that was the spell. That's right. Yeah. I get yeah, the rules. But but there were deadites that he was change. fighting in the daytime in that movie, yeah, so that's was. why it gets confusing. Dead yeah, it was uh, it was a good time. It was a good time. If the first movie was the the remake was more like the original film, this is like, hey, let's do that again, but a little bit wackier, although not as wacky as Evil Dead Two. I'm excited to see what the next one will be. Do you think they'll try to top Army of Darkness? Well, Evil Dead Rise, it kind of seems that they're like, like they're like the Deadites are all over now. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they got out. Yeah, so they, she didn't stop them. No, yeah, it really was like them. like you can yeah. like you can't stop them. Do you think there will be skeletons in the next one? Are we going to get the return of skeletons? I could hope. Yeah. yeah. I want to see nation. some yeah. I want to see some crazier looking demons going forward. People paint it gray with yellow contacts. That's creepy, but let's get some like actual like Evil Dead 2 has the rotten apple head monster that comes in it's through so like good. I want to see that. Can yes. I get that? And I know the TV That's show gave us that. The TV show gave us that. Ask. Huh? That's yeah, like yeah. Ask. I will say, I was actually defending this movie before it came out, because people were like, no Bruce Campbell, not involved, not not interested. It's like, he gave you three seasons. Like, yes. It he gave you multiple movies. like Yeah, and three seasons. Like, three recently, seasons. three seasons and two video games, because he's also in Dead by Daylight and the Evil Dead game. Um, I It was annoying with 2013, because we really wanted a fourth one, and we got a remake instead. 
But this time I was fine with it. I'm like, no, we got yeah, three down. awesome TV series. Like, that's great. He doesn't need to do it ever again. I'm fine if he never does it again. Uh, but yeah, uh, now we've gotten to the end of it here. Do we have any last thing to say about Evil Dead Rise? It was awesome. I definitely feel like I love the fact that it was almost claustrophobic because they were stuck in an apartment building. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. They were like basically trapped in that their apartment the whole time. Mm. And then oh the elevator. Oh, and and, and like, there was a and the yeah. stairs were just We forgot there was a blackout and the signal's gone and there's a storm so they like can't get people's attention. Yeah. Yeah, yeah cuz I was wondering like how do you keep them isolated in the city? And I'm like, "Oh, huh, well, that's how you do it, I guess." So now we're at the end of the episode. What do you think is the best Evil Dead movie? We'll start with you, Crystal. The first one. Really? The Evil Dead. You're I, going with the Evil the Dead. It's the OG. I think it's just for me, personally, it's just OG. Just it's, for my, my, it's my favorite. I'll it, say that. It's very influential. It yes. uh, teaches you a lot, especially if you're an aspiring young <laughs> filmmaker. Uh, um, yes, uh, that uh, that is a great choice, obviously. Mm -hmm. Monica, what's your favorite? I'd have to go with the same. It's just like nostalgia for me. You're also going the evil. Yeah. Oh, I, the, I forgot. I I definitely guy. didn't drop it earlier. <laughs> yeah, no, you did it. Oh, there it is. Whoa! Yeah, so you're going with the evil dead. Okay. Um, oh, we actually mentioned this in the remake episode, but uh, I want to reiterate it here. Modern versions of this film, they've been tampering with it. Remember I talked about that? No. I watched a Blu-ray version of Evil Dead. You know when they go over the bridge and you can see like the two extras like uh, on the side of the bridge like they accidentally got on camera? Yeah. New versions of the movie do like a George Lucas thing and cover them up with like bushes and stuff. And I was like, no, don't do that. What else did you change? Because <laughs> oh. I was thinking of like updating the Blu-ray and I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't like that you're changing things and not telling people. It was weird <laughs> that they, I'm like, what else did you sneak by? I need to see the original effects. Yeah. I mean, it's a good movie either way, whatever. You don't need to see the extra who accidentally got on camera. It's not that important. Uh, so you both went with The, the Evil so. Dead. <sighs> well. Wait, are we ranking them? Like all of them? Do you want to rank them? Oh, no. no? <laughs> Never mind. We are not ranking them. I mean, you can ranking. if you want to, but I'm not. Because it is a close, like, I. the second one is literally, like, it was very Well, close. well. Surprising no one. Women are wrong again. The best Evil Dead movie. <laughs> Is Evil Dead 2. See, that's my second one. I love seeing your face. <laughs> <laughs> you know, since I've got my freedom, I've had a lot more fun on the show lately. Mm, I bet. The e well, not the Evil Dead. Evil Dead 2, uh, that is my favorite. I do think it is the best one, though. It's like, if we're going for like the, the three, I think it's the best looking. It's the most entertaining. It has the mm -hmm. best effects. Um, it has genuine, genuine moments of terror, uh, and also genuine moments of comedy and slapstick and stuff. It's very, it's like, it's an attack on your senses, which I think I've heard it described as, um, yeah. it has everything. It has pretty much everything. It's got, it's got romance and tragedy, comedy, <sighs> horror. It's, it's very simple in some places where it's like spooky ghost uh, thing. And then it's also very complex with like, you're a medieval Messiah prophet thing. It's like, it's got everything for you. It's got everything. Uh, but followed closely by the evil dead. Yeah. They're uh, almost tied for me. Almost yeah. tied. I will say, I don't think there's a bad evil dead movie. No, but I enjoy all of them. I yeah. I do think the majority of evil Dan dead fans i'm curious if anyone has a different opinion but army of darkness tends to rank last and it's not that people don't like it it just tends to just not be. It, it's because it's like it's just a little it's so, not as gory it's not i know as, some people who only like army of darkness really? and don't like it like you're like oh, i watch this i'm not really a horror guy i like the comedy action stuff oh then that's different that's yeah diff you're not but like an evil dead i've fan. been i usually see army of darkness rank i'll put army of darkness above the two new recent ones really uh yes yes i wouldn't i'd actually i don't i think i would do ev the evil dead evil dead 2 evil dead rises evil dead rise Evil Dead Rises. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sticking with it. <laughs> Crystal, can you? you know I'm going to say the words and I'm going to stick with Crystal, it. Crystal, you're subconsciously I'm... thinking of that film that I was in, <laughs> The Dark Knight Rises, no, that you're I'm very not. jealous of. No, I'm not. 
Keep going. And, and then, then 2013, and then Army of Darkness. You're putting Army of Darkness below 2013. I am. Crystal's last episode, everyone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I feel like that hasn't been the only threat that's happened. <laughs> what's your What's your least favorite? You don't have to rank them, but like, what's the one you are gonna watch the least? I was gonna say which one have you watched the least, but you literally just saw the newest <laughs> one. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the one that's been watched the least. Um, if you were on a desert island, they said you can have every <laughs> Evil Dead movie except <laughs> one. What is the one you're leaving? I mean, at that point, I would need some joy, so I have to keep Army of Darkness. Yes. Um. Ooh. Really? This is hard. I don't know. I think I think I'd put 2013 my least. I had a feeling that yeah. No. I liked. I just because it gives me a different vibe. Yeah. And I like the I love all the gore and the like, but again the blood. That's not a bad movie. Again, it's not. Like, Evil Dead is like one of those. Like, kind of how I feel like with Scream. Uh, uh, the only black mark Scream has is the second and third season of the TV show. But Evil Dead, it's like it's pretty much solid across the board. It's like solid. Oh, absolutely. I think there's one bad video game on PlayStation. That might be that. Might... Scream video? No, no, I'm talking about Evil Dead now. Oh, I'm comparing like, wait, the two. Uh, but like Evil Dead's TV show is good. I think there's one bad Evil Dead video game. Um, but yeah, it's just a solid franchise. It is. Um, are you, you really... worried that they're gonna make it? They're gonna ruin it because I know they want to make more and they do want to turn this into a franchise. I, I don't think you can ruin it, to be honest. Don't, don't say that. Don't say that. Knock on wood. I was gonna say, say they would have to like fuck with like the continuity and lore, but Evil Dead already has fucked continuity, oh, there is no continuity. and lore. The lore is all like you can't really fuck up. I think if you were like it's already it, all over the place. Yeah, as long as they don't make it too serious, I think. Yeah, you gotta have a little bit of fun with it here and there. Yeah. That's it. Uh, I picked Evil Dead 2 as the best. You guys picked the OG, the Evil Dead. Yep, yep. Okay, that is it. What do you think? What is your favorite Evil Dead film? Do you want us to come back and talk about the TV show sometime in the future? I do have one spoiler. Oh, yeah. Anybody who's not watching. Yeah. Um, the, the director did confirm that the cat survives the movie. Oh, yeah, there's a cat in the movie. We never see what happens oh, to it. I was actually wondering about that the entire movie. So it, I was like, don't tell me she. It thinking. sounds like something happened to happen. the cat, but we never saw it. So no, that's the cool. cat, like, she just gave off. her the idea. Yeah. Well, I'm the saying we heard it, it, like, like yelp, but that could have just been it running away. Yeah. But they never confirmed it, so I'm glad the director oh, confirmed that. Oh, that makes me so the happy. The director did confirm. Best movie ever. <laughs> and one you other thing the is the sound of Ellie biting out the guy's eyeball in the hallway is actually an audio recording of Bruce Campbell furiously biting into an apple. That's not yes! the only audio recording because Bruce, Bruce Campbell is Campbell's Bruce another. Campbell's one of the voices on the record going, yes, Don't yes. open the book. Yep. Um I really wish that was Ash. Like I know he's pretending to be a they, priest, but it's funnier if it's just like, don't, I've done this before. He no, just showed be. up. <laughs> Maybe it's him yeah. in another universe. <laughs> like the evil dead multiverse. There has to be an oh, evil dead multiverse. Yeah, in the comics. Really? Ash from Evil Dead has met Bruce Campbell's character from Xena, and they've gone on an adventure together. Oh, remember? Uh, Ash has fought the Marvel zombies. He's gone yes. to the Marvel zombie universe. A Marvel zombie universe where they're deadites, and he's had to fight zombie Howard the Duck and shit. Uh, so yeah, there actually is a multiverse of I Ash. want more Ash multiverse. <laughs> Please make it happen. Everyone's doing it. DC, to be Marvel, fair, also, do multiverse. Let's Ash's do car is in the Doctor Strange movie. It do yeah, Ash's so Oh, wait. I was going to ask. Did anyone... I didn't see it, the car in this. It wasn't. It wasn't. It, 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 oh. it should have been in the fucking garage. I don't understand. I know someone The who, only thing I read, and this is stupid, is that the color of the chainsaw is the same color as the car. That's dumb. I was like, okay. Not enough. No. Uh, no. 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 I, I actually like, know someone who owns, like, that actual car, and he's like, it's currently not driving because it's a piece of shit. It was all, that car was always a piece of shit. It doesn't matter. I'm really, I'm really considering it, like, just buying it and going to conventions. And you know where I got that idea? Crystal <gasps> TV show cars. Yes. So, yeah. Right. Did I say it right? Yes. Huh. So there coming up this month. Isn't that something I've been wondering when you're going to put it out? Yes. Coming up in May, because I don't know if you know this. No. You've probably seen Michael Keaton is coming back to embarrass himself. Yes. Yes. He, he wasn't content just being like a good actor. He's like, you know what? I'm going to dress up like a bat as an elderly man and look like an idiot. This will get people to forget Morbius. <laughs> um, so yeah, so he's going to embarrass himself again. I was excited to he see He was in Morbius? 
he's in the yeah he comes back as the vulture oh you didn't see the end of morbius i think i just forget morbius good <laughs> oh at the end of Mor so all the spider-man no way home works. thing for yeah, some yeah. reason it sends just the vulture to the morbius universe oh. and then he rebuilds his suit and he goes hey morbius is there a spider-man here let's talk and then they released it on video and they got rid of the Spider-Man line. So it's even more confused. It's a shit show. Anyway. Okay, sorry. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so since Michael this. Keaton is uh, going to embarrass himself as an elderly 70-year-old <sighs> Batman, we are going to revisit Batman and Batman 89. Whoop, whoop. And this is actually, if you were a patron on Patreon, you would have known this for like a while now. We actually got a screen-used Batmobile for both episodes. Oh. Yes, we have the actual Michael Keaton screen used Batmobile uh, for both. Uh, so the beginning of May and the end of May, we're going to do Batman 89, Batman Returns. It's me, you, and Frank. Yeah. The people were like, where is Crystal? Where is Crystal? Because apparently if you're not in like three episodes in a row, everyone assumes you're dead every single time. They hate me, but they also are I nervous. Say, I'm, I'm very confused. How do you think <laughs> I feel? This is also my normal life too. It's Literally, not just the people that watch Thank these God, videos. thank God. Life. Cause like we were so busy. I wasn't sure if you were going to be in this. Thank God. Cause like literally the, you were in, you were in the underrated final girls episode, yeah. which didn't get that many views. You assholes. Um, but, and I like literally last week I get at, comments on older videos like i miss crystal i mean i'm like she's still around like <laughs> yeah people literally think I'm i have to keep every couple <laughs> months i'm like i'm like crystal's in like two episodes coming up will you just fucking well, relax like, well, just, that was just print out her photo and like put it on the desk and then people are gonna complain about that but oh. then you're gonna take it away and people are gonna be like i missed the photo <laughs> <laughs> but i had actually it was actually someone that um i don't i can't remember who it was someone tweeted at me it was like hey are you you're you have to be reviewing this right and that's actually what made me text tony be like hey are we reviewing this and this it was, was it was good down because i remember like as we were planning it i was just like i have like i, I yesterday yes yeah, <laughs> yesterday i literally texted you be like hey are you gonna review this? i literally and didn't like, know hey, reviewing it tomorrow if you want to show all i knew is i had to see with monica and I wanted her in it, and I wanted you in it also. But I was literally, clearly, clearly. <laughs> because of the show that happened this weekend, I literally did not know when I was going to see the movie. So that's why I was just like, as soon as it was, like, confirmed. He gave me, like, a couple of days. He's like, are you free, like, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or something like that? And I was like, yeah, I think so. I was originally, I was thinking Monday, but then, like, all those guys stayed in town, like, an extra day. So, like, I need to... I'm sorry. You guys are great. You're my favorite cousin. You're there. But when mint salad's here, the world stops. Oh, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> All hail mint. So, yes, uh, Crystal will be in the Batman and Batman Returns review yes. with our screen-used Batmobile. It was so much fucking fun. So, wait, wait. I'm confused. Are you doing the review inside the car? Or what do you mean? No, I was too we scared to add. To touch or breathe on the car. No. So how's the car involved? We have it in yeah, the back. I'm sorry, is this part of the we, 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 we drove out. No, because it's going to be in the right okay. episode. We drove out to the guy's place and he parked it behind us. And then we shot both reviews with this nice car behind us. Oh, okay. We couldn't breathe it. We couldn't. We can't get too close. But it was it was beautiful. Okay. He was fine. I think we were. He was really nice. He's my <laughs> new best friend. Yes. Um. And you took some photos there. I did. That will be on certain fun. websites. Oh. Well, that, though, those won't be on those websites. Those are just going to go on Instagram. Oh. Twitter. Well, you bought an outfit. I bought an outfit. Which might though. be on certain websites. You yeah. Should, you should do those the, you should do the Evil Dead car. Lady uh, photo shoot. I can do that. I can yeah. do you that. You and Johanna have to do the cosplay stuff where I did the Cocaine Bear photo shoot for my True. adult website. We just did lingerie. It, pff, pff, lingerie. What is this? We do lingerie. We do what are you, a boomer? Everyone's dressing up as the cocaine bear now and doing their sexy photos. That's what I assume. Anyway, that's it Thanks. from us. Look forward to the Batman reviews as, long, uh, as well as many other reviews coming out. Yes. Uh, me and Johanna are almost on the Indiana Jones franchise. <laughs> Just in time for Harrison Ford to embarrass we still himself. We haven't finished the Hellraiser series. Yes, Aww. actually, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? That's good for you. Someone messaged on Patreon. They literally signed up for Patreon. They watched all of them. Like, are you doing more of these? I'm like, yes. I'm. Somebody likes it's me. It's just the one person. You're doing again, I, reviews for the one person. Again, I don't think people realize, like, I didn't just move the set. I also moved everything at the office and my apartment all at the same time. I've been very Aww. busy. But it's done now. Not now true. We're gonna get some other <laughs> Not true. Yeah. I have a vacuum and a few things at the apartment, but then it'll be done. It'll be done and I'll be happy. Uh, uh, so yes, watch all of that. Subscribe, do all that bullshit. 
I film for four days in a row. I'm going to sleep until Friday now. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Bye. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page.